In this video, we're going to take you through an updated tutorial of the Decentralized Exchange Uniswap. We'll take you through a full beginner's guide, showing you how to get started, connect a wallet, swap your tokens, and add liquidity to earn. And there'll be a timeline in the summary below for those of you who just want to jump to specific parts of this tutorial. For more information on Uniswap, please check out everybithelps.io. First up, a little bit about Uniswap. Uniswap is a decentralized exchange, which is also known as a DEX, where users can trade between tokens on the Ethereum network. And more recently, users can also use layer twos such as Polygon, Optimism, Arbitrum and Celo networks, making it cheaper to use with lower transaction fees. And all you need to do is connect up a Web3 wallet such as the likes of Metamask. With Uniswap, there's no need to deposit or withdraw from the platform. This is because they use liquidity pools instead of order books. There's also no sign up or KYC required. Therefore, anyone, anywhere can quickly trade their tokens or earn trading fees on all trades just by supplying liquidity to the platform. Uniswap also have their own UNI or UNI tokens, which can be used to represent voting shares in the Uniswap governance or just simply held. And there's been a lot of updates to the platform since my last tutorial. So let's jump in and take a look by first heading across to uniswap.org. And it's worth double checking the address that you enter into the address bar and possibly bookmarking it too, as there have been known to be some fake sites around. And it's also worth mentioning that Uniswap don't have a mobile app and is only available as a web platform. First, let's take a look at getting started and some Uniswap fundamentals for those of you that are brand new to the platform. Getting started on Uniswap is very easy, especially if you already have a Web3 wallet set up. Uniswap allows users to retain custody of their funds, and unlike popular centralized exchanges like Coinbase or Binance, there's no lengthy sign-up process to do, such as disclosing your name, ID documents like passports or addresses, etc. And every action that you perform within Uniswap will be done directly within your wallet, and there's no need for you to send tokens to the platform or withdraw them from the platform. However, there will be gas or transaction fees or network fees that you'll need to pay, which we're going to come to. The first thing you'll need to do when you reach Uniswap, rather than logging in, is connect up a supported wallet. This could be the likes of a MetaMask or a Coinbase wallet or a wallet that supports Wallet Connect. Another method that some people use, including myself, is using MetaMask wallet in conjunction with a hardware wallet so that your crypto is always safely stored there. If you've not already set up or created a wallet, I do have some tutorials to create these. Depending on the type of network that you're connecting to, whether or not that be Ethereum, Polygon or Optimism, etc., you might also need to manually set these networks up in your wallet, as some of these don't come pre-built into the likes of Metamask. Again, I do have some tutorials and step-by-step -step guides available on my website, everybithelps.io, if you do need a bit of guidance. Or you may also be able to connect up the likes of a MetaMask wallet. And Uniswap will automatically connect up and set up your wallet to that network. In this example, I hadn't set up Arbitrum in my MetaMask wallet. And as you can see, when I select that network, it asks if I'll allow the site to add this network to my wallet, which I can then allow and then switch to that network. And when I take a look at my MetaMask wallet from the list of networks, you'll see it's now appearing in here along with my wallet address. Uniswap is based on the fact that you already do hold some crypto and you can't buy tokens using fiat or traditional currency like euros, USD or GBP. You simply swap tokens that you already hold. Now, if you don't already have any crypto, sometimes you can buy your tokens using your connected wallet like Metamask or Ledger using third-party providers. But this can work out to be expensive. Or you can use centralized exchanges and transfer the tokens to your MetaMask or Ledger wallet, for example. When you're swapping your tokens, you will need to make sure that the tokens are on the network that you're connected to. For example, if you're using the Optimism network, you'll need to transfer your tokens across to that specific network. And they do give you an option to bridge your tokens here, so that you can bridge some ETH from the Ethereum network to Optimism, but this can sometimes work out to be expensive in terms of fees. Or you can often use exchanges such as Binance, which supports the likes of Arbitrum and Optimism. 
and that way if you do have the likes of some ETH on there, you can withdraw that on those networks. And at the moment, that'll cost around 46 cents. It's also important that you have some of that network's token in your own wallet to pay for the gas fees, which are also known as transaction fees. These are those that are paid to the miners for completing your transaction. Today, I'm going to be connecting to the Ethereum network and I'm going to be using my Metamask wallet, which is actually connected to my Ledger hardware device. So you can see my connected wallet address appearing, the network and my ETH balance here too. And this mirrors what is in my Metamask wallet at the moment. I've already got some tokens in here, which include USDT, which is something that I'm going to be swapping. Let's jump into swapping now, and you'll need to ensure that you're on the swap tab at the top of the screen. The first thing you'll need to do is select the token that you're going to be swapping from. Some of the most popular tokens will appear at the top here, which you can select without having to search or scroll through the list. Uniswap also retrieves and displays our current balances from the wallet that we've connected. For this swap, I'm going to select USDT. Then from the second select token drop down, you can choose what token you'd like to swap that for. There's a whole host of tokens available and you can search the tokens you want too. The one thing to be aware of in here are the fact that there could be fake or scam tokens. However, Uniswap does have something called token lists. And what this allows you to do is select your token from a reputable list. By using token lists, you can choose the list that you trust so that you can hopefully separate out fake or scam tokens. Another way to ensure that you make sure that it is the correct token that you're selecting is to add in this specific contract address, which you can copy from the likes of CoinMarketCap and paste in. I'm going to say that I want to swap 50 USDT for ETH now. And you'll see the estimated amount that you'll receive and the conversion rate underneath. It shows the estimated gas fee here, and if we click onto the drop down, it shows the expected output and the price impact, which is the impact that your trade has on the market price. Then the minimum that you're expected to receive after slippage, which is something that you can set so that the price doesn't change wildly. And if it does, your transaction won't go through. Your slippage tolerance can be adjusted under your settings by clicking onto the cog icon. So if you don't want the price to be much different from what you see, you can set this to be low. If you want this swap to go through regardless of how much it slips, then set this higher. You can also set up a transaction deadline, which cancels the trade if it doesn't complete within a certain time frame. Select whether or not you want auto router on and off, which will find the best route for your trade, plus expert mode, so that you don't need to confirm a transaction in your wallet before it completes. But this does come with a few security risks. Then there's the estimated network fee for this swap and the route that your swap will take. To go ahead with your swap, you will need to pay two gas or transaction fees. The first allows the Uniswap protocol to use your USDT and the second fee will be to perform the actual swap. And I definitely recommend checking the prices before you go ahead and swap if you can. And you can use the likes of ETH gas station to help you try and find out a time when fees are lower so that you're not paying at the busiest times and therefore the most expensive rates. So first, I'm going to allow Uniswap to use my USDT, where it's estimated that I'll be paying roughly 76 pence in transaction costs. And because I'm using this in conjunction with my Ledger hardware wallet, I'm also going to need to approve that transaction on my actual device. Once that's approved and it's all gone through, I'll then have the option to swap where it shows me a confirmation of my swap with the expected outputs and estimated fees, etc. So I'll confirm the swap. And it now states that the gas fee might actually be $2.97, which you can also edit. So if you want something to go through faster, for example, you can set this and then pay higher fees for this to go through. I'm going to confirm that that's okay in my ledger. And once it's approved, which mine did at a gas cost of $1.88 instead of that $2.97 we saw earlier, you'll see my USDT balance has now decreased by 50 USDT and my ETH balance has now increased. And these tokens are immediately available from within my Metamask wallet with no need to deposit or withdraw them as essentially they've never left my wallet, they're just simply swapped. Next, we're going to take a look at Paul so that we can start to earn by providing liquidity. Under charts, 
you'll see that there are pulls over on the Layer 2 networks like Arbitrum and Optimism. However, as you can see here, you will find that there is more liquidity on the Ethereum network. Therefore, there are more swaps occurring, meaning that you'll earn more fees. In saying that, there are higher fees on the Ethereum network, so it will depend on how much you are supplying. The example that I'm going to show you today probably won't work out to be profitable due to the amounts that I'm going to be supplying. But I want to show you the method today of how to supply to a pool and start earning fees. So if we head back to the Uniswap pool tab from the top of the screen, any active positions will show here. To add some tokens that you're holding into a pool, choose Add Position. You'll then need to select the two tokens that you're currently holding and you want to add into the pool. In this example, I'm going to choose ETH and USDT that I just swapped for. And underneath, it will then show the percentage of fees that you're going to be earning, which are based on fee tiers based on the stability of that pair. And Uniswap will automatically select these for you. With the 0.3% fee tier, 79% of users currently choose this. And there are higher rates, but these are generally for more exotic or smaller pairs. You can then enter the amount that you want to deposit or supply, and these will be entered as equal amounts. So if you add in a certain amount of USDT, and I'm entering in 50, the equivalent in ETH will then appear above. And this will also work if I were to enter the ETH amount in first. On the right, you can also set price ranges. So what you're doing here is setting a minimum and maximum price range and only lending your tokens to be used within this range. And this is something they call concentrated liquidity. So when the price is outside of the range that you've defined, you won't be earning fees and your assets will be turned into a single one. And in this way, you'll earn better yields. When you change the price range, you'll see that the deposit amounts will change on the left. And when you're happy, you can go ahead. Approving first in the same way that you did with swapping. And that's estimated at a fee of $1.20, which I'm going to need to confirm in my MetaMask and Ledger wallets. And once that's approved, I can then preview, where I'll then see a confirmation of the liquidity that I'm adding. I'll choose Add. And it's estimated that the fee is going to cost around $11.75, which although it's quite high for this to be profitable, I'm going to confirm anyway for the purposes of this tutorial. Then once that's confirmed and approved, which it did at a gas cost of $8.29 instead, my position will then appear under pools, which shows you a summary. If I click onto it, it then shows me further detail. So we can see the tokens that we've added, the rate at 0.3%, and the fact that it's in range. When you add liquidity, you used to receive something called Uniswap Liquidity Provider or LP tokens. And these tokens would essentially track your contribution to the pool and earn fees proportional to your share in the pool. However, since the introduction of the concentrated liquidity, where you specify that price range, you now receive an NFT, which holds the specific data. And this is because there are now price ranges attached to these. So over on the left is where you'll see your NFT, which includes the minimum and maximum prices that you've set. To the right, it shows your ratio and amounts. Any unclaimed fees will show. Now, obviously, these are zero at the moment, but these will build up the more and more people swap this pair within your price range. Then underneath, you have your price range and the current price. Now, after some time, you'll then have the option to collect your fees. Plus, you can also remove your liquidity at any time, or you can increase it to essentially add more to the pool. If you want to remove and no longer supply your tokens, choose to remove liquidity. You can then select how much you'd like to remove as a percentage, and you can choose to remove it all by selecting max. It'll then show how much you're removing, and you can claim any outstanding fees at the same time. When you're happy, choose to remove. But you'll then obviously need to pay a gas fee again, which is currently estimated at around $4.55. I'm not going to go ahead with this as I do want to build up some fees first. But when you do remove your liquidity, your assets will then be available in your MetaMask wallet again and show under your available assets. Then the last bit I'll show you is just some of the other available options on Uniswap, which are available in the top right, such as accessing their help center. You can change languages and from dark to light mode, for example. Plus, there's an option to claim Uni, which is their own Uniswap token. If, for example, you're entitled to an airdrop. But that concludes my beginner's guide to Uniswap.
and I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to our website at everybithelps.io for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.